what's going on with you guys my name is Kenneth aka who won week today I'm going to review what happened during the fight between Anthony Joshua versus uh, Alexander Povetkin and spoiler alert Joshua won via seventh round KO but I'm going to give you the in interesting stuff about this fight and get good let's get started first two rounds uh, it was a kind uh, it was a bit of uh, unexpected because uh, Povetkin uh, won this uh, won this uh, two two first rounds easily why uh, in my previous video about my about my prediction Povetkin did right but he started uh, with good pace while Joshua was uh, was having uh, troubles during the early rounds. I thought Joshua was like rushing in during the early rounds since he is younger and ex and explosive. But that didn't happen during the first two rounds. Povetkin he uses his head movement well. Also, his small punches are the most dangerous. The hooks, the hooks. Uh, he just. Uh, whenever Josh was trying to land a combo, uh, Povetkin is uh, sneaking a small, like small right hands to uh, Joshua's jaw, like a small punches, but it is deadly because also this one he rocked Joshua during the first round, so it makes uh, this makes the fight so interesting because the small Povetkin rock. Uh, Anthony Joshua and Povet and Povetkin is already 39, 39 years old. Hmm. Good factor for this one. So first two rounds, uh, Povetkin easily. But the next third, fourth, fifth, and sixth round, I'm going to give this one to Anthony Joshua. AJ. Simple reasons. Uh, after after the after round two. Uh, round three started with Joshua uh, pushing the pace. Uh, I guess his coach already knew that Povetkin cannot handle those pace since he is uh, since he is old, and that's the time when Joshua was starting to pour his jabs, which is uh, which is rare because Joshua's fights uh, commonly ends uh, during the early early rounds, but this one. He tries to box, box with. Uh, he tries to box, but his his uh, his jab uh, does really have great power, and it kind of hurt uh, Povetkin uh, little by little. And also uh, during this round, Joshua really tries to pick it up, while Povetkin uh, he was just uh, his energy just got drained. Uh, also, outside fighting, which is Joshua's technique in this fight, and I also mentioned this one: do not brawl because that's what happened during the first uh, first round. Joshua was trying to land a combo during uh, uh, whenever uh, Povetkin is trying to go inside, like uh, inside fighting, but that doesn't work for Joshua, and he, he uses his jab and his straight right hands trying to trying to hook uh, Povetkin when he's rushing inside and he uses his footwork uh, a lot of people uh, underestimates uh, the boxers footwork but if you see uh, Joshua's footwork is always balanced uh, even though uh, Povetkin was hitting him during, when uh, when he rushes when he rushes into Joshua but Joshua, he stayed calm and patient, and that's that's uh, that's the recipe for Joshua to win this fight. He was patient. He he was calm because everyone knows that Joshua can uh, can be so explosive during the early early rounds, but we haven't seen that in this fight. And he, was, and he was just waiting for the perfect time and that perfect time was in 7th round 
uh, I got this one right. Yeah, boy. It is because uh, I predicted the fight that it will end during the middle rounds. I'm not picking just one round. I know it is in the middle rounds because that's the time when Povetkin is dangerous. And also, uh, I, 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 I really, uh, I was expecting Joshua trying to pour it all when, when the rounds goes hot. And round seven, uh, Joshua was still patient and waiting and waiting. And this, and Povetkin was blinded by AJ's mini combos, like just the the straight, then slip, then right hand uh, simple things like that it's still blinding to the opponent if you are uh, continuously and being consistent with the technique then after and after uh, the two uh, yeah it was around uh, one minute left during the seventh round when Joshua was uh, sleeping punches uh, his footwork uh, jumping left jumping to the right and it can confuses Povetkin you can see it in Povetkin's eyes then Joshua releases a simple uh, left hook and a straight right hand and, and flushes to Povetkin's face it wasn't the it wasn't the Hail Mary punch which is Joshua's uh, combos when he smells blood but this fight I saw a new technique for Joshua he was calm and his footwork is better and uh, the KO was just smooth it wasn't like the hard punches like hard punches no uh, it wasn't like that it wasn't a swarm of punches but it was using uh, his head movement his footwork his, his jab he needs to improve his jab more and and I'm really impressed uh, by Joshua because that small hook it was it wasn't like he wasn't like throwing like crazy like in this way it just softly uh, throwing punches then his right hand boom down goes Povetkin and that's the end uh, I, I enjoyed the fight I watched it again twice because I watched it with uh, uh, UK commentators and also without sounds I like I like it more that way and what's next yeah he's, he mentioned Deontay Wilder and that's the conversation now and it's time it's not it's not impossible anymore Joshua versus Wilder I'm pretty sure it will happen I'm I really like the fight happened early 2019 not late 2018 like December or November I would like it to happen during uh, January to March because uh, uh, I, I just like uh, right now I just like seeing it during the uh, during the early year, uh, early early months early months of the year and because I believe it can, if Joshua loses, it will. Uh, they can have a rematch, or if Wilder loses, there will be a rematch, and that's the reason why I like it. Uh, I want it to happen uh, during the early months of the uh, of 2019. Hmm, Joshua, I've I've seen improvements. Uh, he's patient. He uses his power well. He w he wasn't like Wilder the Hail Mary throwing punches during the early early rounds, then kinds of uh, relaxing during the middle rounds, then tries to finish off during the late rounds. It wasn't like that. I'm excited, and I'm not going to give my prediction right now. But I'm going. But I'm still. I'm going to give a small edge to. Right now, I'm still going to give an edge to Deontay Wilder because I like crazy fighters who who breaks the rules just to get the knockout and also being smart. Uh, he wasn't 
he wasn't like just brawling without thinking and he's he's always uh Deontay's uh he's calculated he calculated his his energy and that's what I uh, that's what uh that's what the best uh, uh best asset for Wilder he knows his stuff he's doing well and that's it guys for today I, uh, thank you for supporting me and thank you for watching my videos like smash like comment and subscribe thank you guys for watching and see you soon peace